Okay, guys, welcome to Ingenious Academy. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this second problem from chapter 15, Impulse and Momentum, Hebler Dynamics. And the problem says that a 20 pound block slides down a 30 degree inclined plane with an initial velocity of 2 feet per second. Determine the velocity of the block in 3 seconds if the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the plane is 0.25. So let's say that this is the inclined plane and the block is moving downward. This is the block, let's say. So, and the incline is making, uh, it is given that the incline is making 30 degrees with the horizontal, right? So this is 30 degrees. And the initial velocity of the block is, let's say V1 is given, that is two feet per second. And we are required to find, determine the velocity after 3 seconds. So when t equals to 3 seconds, we want to find the velocity that is v2. So if I draw a perpendicular, let's say, uh, so this normal will be acting perpendicular to the inclined plane. And if I extend the line of action of this incline, uh, of this normal, so the weight is going to act vertically downward. So the weight is acting vertically downward like this. And this weight is uh, 20 pounds. And if the incline is making 30 degrees with the horizontal, then the weight is making 30 degrees with the line of action of the normal force. And similarly, since it is going downward and there is friction, so there is kinetic friction and that kinetic friction is going to act vertically up, uh, parallel to the incline in the upward direction. So that is that friction force is 0 0.25 that is mu k times n. And now let's assume that uh, this is our positive x direction down the incline is positive x and perpendicular to the incline is y direction. So now we can solve this problem by using the equation of kinetics that is the summation of forces along the x equals to m a x and the summation of forces along y equals to m a y. But since we have solved these problems uh, in chapter 13, now we are in chapter 15 and this is the application of the principle of impul impulse and momentum. So we have to apply that equation. So we have to apply the principle of impulse and momentum to solve this uh, problem. So for that is we know that uh, the principle of impulse and momentum says that m1 v1 that is the initial momentum plus the summation of the impulses due to the external forces and that is equal to the final momentum that is m v2. So this is the impulse. Now uh, since uh, we can write this equation in uh, along x and y axis is Right, so if we resolve this equation, so then we can write that this will be m v one x. This is f of x, and this is m v two x. And similarly, we can write the same equation along the y axis as well. That will be m v one y, f of y, and m v two y. So now this is when the block is moving in the downward direction. And similarly, we can write that. Let me write m v one y plus the summation of the impulses. Of the external forces in the y direction so that is f of y dt and this is m v2 y now this in the in the perpendicular direction that is our positive direction this is my positive direction so now the mass of the block is 20 weight is 20 we have to divide it by g value which is 32.2 and in the y direction the velocity is zero since the block is moving in the x direction so if this is 0, this term will become 0. This will become 0. So we do not need to write this. This is 0. And similarly, as we can see that the external force in the y direction is this n force and the component of this weight. If we resolve this weight into its component, so it will have one component which is acting in this direction. So this is 20 cos of 30. And we have one another component of the weight. This is the sine component. This is 20 sine of 30 degrees. So now we have 
we can write that uh, the impulse due to this force this external component of the weight and this normal force right so the normal force we can write that the impulse from the normal force and this will be from zero from initial time to the final time which is uh, three seconds right this is three seconds we have to find the velocity v2 after three seconds right so this is from zero to three and dt plus the other external force is the cost component in the y direction and that is acting in the negative y so i have to write minus this is minus 20 cos of 30 into dt and that will be equal to m um, mass again so the mass is 20 the weight is 20 we have to divide it by g value which is 32.2 and again since the block is only moving uh, parallel to the incline plane there is no velocity in the y direction so this will become zero again so this is zero so now if uh, if we look into this equation n is constant right n is constant since the weight will remain constant so the cost component will remain constant so this is n and if we integrate this dt uh, so we will be left with only t so t from 0 to 3 minus again this is constant force this is 20 cos of 30 and this is from 0 to 3 and if we integrate this so we will get t and this is from 0 to 3 and this is equal to 0 so now n and if we put these limits so this will be 3 minus 0 3 minus 0 and that is minus 20 cos of 30 again if we put these limits so this is 3 minus 0 so this is into 3 and this is into 3 and this is equal to 0 and if I bring this to the other side of equation so we will have the equation like this and if we divide both side of equation by 3 so we will be left with n is equal to uh, 20 cos of 30 so 20 uh, cos of 30 so this is 17.321 that is 17.321 newtons now if we have used the summation of forces along the y equals to m a y we would have obtained the same n value so if we apply the summation of forces along y if we apply kinetics so this n is acting in the positive y direction that is n minus this uh, 20 cos of 30 component that is 20 cos of 30 equals to since the acceleration in the y direction is 0 so this is equal to 0 and n is equal to 20 cos of 30 degrees so this gives us uh, n value that is 17.321 so now it's up to you uh, but if if in the problem statement it is said that solve it by using the impulse and momentum principle of impulse and momentum then use this method otherwise we can find the n value using uh, the simple kinetics equation but to find the velocity v2 uh, we will apply in case of kinetics we need to apply the summation of forces along x then that will give us ax and then we have to apply the kinematics and in case of the principle of impulse and momentum we, we do not need to apply the kinematics that will give us the velocity value directly so you people will see after this if we apply the impulse and momentum in the x direction if we apply this equation so now let me apply this equation this is the impulse and momentum equation in the x direction that is the uh, parallel to the inclined plane so so now if we write again uh, the initial velocity is in the x direction and that is is we know that that is given that v1 is equal to in the problem statement it is said that v1 is 2 feet per second so v1 is equal to v1x since the block is only moving in the x direction and that is 2 feet per second so we can write that the mass is 20 the weight is 20 so that is 20 divided by 32.2 multiply by v1x so v1x is 2 and again in the x direction we have uh, this external force the sine component and this friction force so we have to find the impulse of both of these forces so the summation of both of these impulses right so this is acting in the positive x so i will write plus the impulse of the sine component that is 20 sine of 30 into dt from 0 to 3 seconds and the friction force the impulse due to the friction force that is in the negative x direction so i have to write minus again 0 from 0 to 3 and then that is 0 0.25 n and n is now known that is 17.321 dt and that will be equal to uh, 
mass so mass is 20 the weight is 20 divided by g value which is 32.2 and v2 x v2 x so this is uh, 40 divided by 32.2 40 divided by 32.2 this gives us 1.242 that is 1.242 plus now this is constant so we we can write it outside of the integration and this dt into integral will only give us t so that is 20 sine of 30 t and if we put these limits so this will be 3 minus 0 so that is t this is 3 minus 0 will give us 3 minus that is 0 0.25 17.321 and again integral of dt integral of dt from 0 to 3 will give us t from 0 to 3 and that is 3 minus 0 so 3 minus 0 is 3 so the integral of dt gives us 3 right so this is multiply by 3 and this is 20 divided by 32.2 20 divided by 32.2 this gives us 0 0.621 0 0.621 v2 in the x direction so we can find if i divide both side of equation by 0 0.621 we will be able to find that velocity of the block in the x direction so this is 1.242 plus this uh, 3 3 into 20 is 60 so i will write it as uh, 60 sine of 30 minus 0 0.25 into 17.321 into 3 divided by 0 0.621 this gives us this is this gives us error so we have to put one another brackets here so this gives us 29.39 this v2x is 29.39 let me write that the v2 in the x is 29.39 feet per second so now we were required to find the velocity of the three seconds since uh, v, v2y as we know that the block is only moving in the x direction that is parallel to the incline so v2y is 0 feet per second so if we find the resultant of this v2x and v2y that will be v2 so that will be v2x square plus v2y square under the square root and v2y is 0 so that will give us v2x and v2x magnitude is 29.39 feet per second so this is the solution of this particular problem that is 29.39 feet per second is the velocity of uh, this crate uh, after three seconds now if we have a, by using this summation of forces along x we could have obtained the same v2 value so let's check it whether we can find it uh, the same value so that will be the uh, summation of forces along the y di uh, along the x direction equals to m a x now along the x we have this sine component which is 20 sine of 30 minus the friction force which is 0 0.25 into n and n value is 17.321 and that will be equal to the mass so mass is 20 divided by g value which is 32.2 into ax so let's find this this will give us the ax value that is the acceleration in the x so that is 20 sine of 30 minus 0 0.25 into 17.321 so, so this this gives us 5.66 and if we multiply if we cross multiply that 32.2 divided by 20 so that will give us a x so a x is 9.128 a x is 9.128 feet per second square now we have to find the velocity so we have to apply the kinematics so for kinematics we know that ax is dv by dt so we can write that dv is equal to 9.128 dt and we have to integrate this to find the final velocity so the initial velocity is in the axis 2 
this is the x remember so the initial velocity in the x is 2 and the final velocity we, we want to find it that is v2 and this is from 0 to 3 seconds since we have to find the velocity after 3 seconds so when we integrate this so we get v2 minus 2 and this is 9.128 and dt will give us uh, dt integral will give us t from 0 to 3 and that will be 3 minus 0 so this is 3 and if I bring this 2 to the other side so this will become plus 2 so this is uh, 9.128 into 3 plus 2 so that gives us 29.38 that same uh, velocity value that is v2 29.38 4 so it is approximately equal to that v2 which we have obtained from using the principle of impulse and momentum so th this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet for the solution of Hibbler dynamics problems.